Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on this look right here using the Raw Beauty X, Raw Beauty X Christie Raw Beauty Christie X Color Pop at Foresight Palette. It's um, kind of dramatic as you can see. My, like, I just go to dramatic any chance that I get. Um, I am using a couple of new things that I haven't haven't a couple of new things that I have that I haven't been able to show in videos yet. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then please keep on watching. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids. I'm going to be using the MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. Go ahead and set the eyeshadow primer with my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder in Light Medium 2. Just like a yellow. And I'm going to take my Morphe E20. Today we're going to be using the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie Collection Collaboration Palette. This is at Forest Sight, their pressed powder palette. And look how gorgeous and adorable this is. I really love just like the nature, the mushrooms, you know, the trees. It's so gorgeous. I love the tones. This is what it looks like inside. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen what it looks like inside. I am not going to go to like the greenish route but I am gonna go like more right here possibly like not possibly I am gonna do that um because I really want to try out the neutral colors I haven't done a color pop like new launch video in a long time I feel like so I'm super excited um many of you have found me through my color pop videos because I used to like do so much and used to purchase all these color pop launches um I've cut back a little bit to you know not buy as much makeup um especially color pop launches because it just came out so often but i am still such a big color pop fan still keep up with their launches just i don't buy them as often as i used to before but you know i'm such a big color pop fan and i've done so many so many videos on the color pop collections and eyeshadow palettes so i'm going to start off with this palette today i'm gonna go ahead and take the shade puffball I'm using my JH30 taking puffball and I'm gonna um, pop that into my crease just to warm everything up a little bit I'm actually gonna take puffball and chaudrel I'm not sure I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it but these two shades right here I'm just gonna mix them same brush oh that is so pretty I really like that orangey brown shade that's super pretty. I'm going to apply um, a little bit more of that on this side. I don't know if this would be like a weird combination, but I'm going to take some of the um, that mauve shade in this palette. I'm going to be taking my Morphe R38, and I'm going to be taking the shade Old Growth right here and applying that to the outer corners to see how that looks. I'm just really focusing that in the outer corners. I'm really just stopping at um, like a little bit more than halfway into my inner corners. All know I am a sucker for some smokiness. I'm taking my JH32 in the shade Rainer right here, just like um, this is like a red brick color, and applying that on top of old growth. In the JH50, I'm first gonna take the shade called. Amanita, Amanita right here, this deep purple shade, and really focus that in the outer corner lash line first, like blending it in then like to crease. And there's like some harshness there, so I'm going to blend out, taking a little bit of that um, yellowy and puffball shade. It's really nice, the two transitional shades I use because it kind of like blurs out any of the harsh lines and kind of like not mistakes but like things that need to be blended out and it's just like blurs it which is amazing i'm then going to deepen this whole thing up um with homegrown this like deep purpley brown shade with the same jh50 and this one i really want to focus that into like right here um my lower lash my outer corner lash line blend it kind of just like gives my lashes um my upper corner lashes a little bit of like dimension makes it look like i have more lashes than i do and i'm just gonna go ahead and 
blend everything again with my JH30. I'm going to take now the shade of West Coast right here, this goldy orange, um, goldish, yeah, a gold shade, and I'm going to apply that to my inner corners. And this shade is like super pigmented, so I was just like spreading it with my fingers and then I'm just taking a little bit by little to just reapply. Oh, gorgeous. I look like a punch in the eye, of course. It's not a Helen tutorial without looking like a punched in the eye. I'm taking the Morphe M167, taking West Coast again. I'm going to spritz a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray to make it more pigmented. Also, um, I want to use a brush because I have nails, so it doesn't really get in there to the inner corners. So this will help me get into the crevices. So what I did off camera, I went ahead with my ColourPop shader brush, and I just blended out the, um, the harsh lines that West Coast could have caused. Not caused, but like when I, when I applied it. Just make sure that's blended. I took my JH50, taking Homegrown and Amita, mixing those two shades together and blending out the outer corners just to make it look more seamless. Now going back in with my JH30, taking a little bit of Puffball and Chanterelle and blending it out. Step away from my eyes for a little bit and move on to the face. I'm going to go ahead and apply some glow this is the merit highlighting balm in kava i featured this in my last video and i really do like it it just gives a very gorgeous glow from within and because it's like um like a balm it kind of gives me a little bit of moisture i'm applying a lot because i want a lot of glow and i'm going to blend out with my beauty blender it just blends out so beautifully I'm now going to move into foundation. Today I'll be using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation in 230 Elder. I'm going to take my Sigma F60 foundation brush and just apply. I'm going to take the Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush and blend everything in. Go ahead and conceal using my NARS Radiant Creamy and Ginger and fix up my eyeshadow mess. And I'm going to let this set to get a little bit tacky and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and blended out my concealer. I'm going to go ahead and do some cream contour. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour in Light. And I will be taking my JH08. Go ahead and blend this out. After cream bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm using the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealers today in 06 and 13. 06 is light and 13 is light medium. Add with light medium first. Now I'm going to take a light. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Before I go ahead and set my under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and apply some cream blush. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in Maple Deep Maple A. I'm going to take my um, Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Powder and go ahead and set my and bake bake and set my under eyes. Just remember to pat any creasing you may have. I like to pat it in first. Go ahead and set the um, perimeters of my face first. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in number 2. Taking my Real Techniques Powder Brush. I'm going to let my under eyes set a little bit longer. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some bronzer. I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Light Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light today. It's a glowy bronzer. I figured I'd just switch it up take my MAC 140 brush. I'm going to go ahead and do some light contouring. I'm just going to take my Dior Backstage Contour Palette and do a little, little contour with my E4 from Morphe. Then I'm going to go ahead and carve out 
my cheeks with my same Pat McGrath powder. Yeah. Now I will go ahead and let um, uh, dust off the powder under my eyes. I'm loving, loving this Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Blurring Under Eye Powder in Light. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe E50 brush. It just looks like this. Yeah. Alright guys, I've done a little a couple of things while I was gone. I put on some um, eyeliner on my upper, I tight lined and then my lower lash line, my Makeup by Mario eyeliner in soft brown. I like love, love, love this stuff because it brings out my brown eyes so beautifully. I applied some mascara. This is the Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara and then some lashes which are my Coco Lashes Goddess. So that's what I have on right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust off this powder. I'm going to go ahead and move to back to my eyes for, or yeah, back to my eyes. Going back to the At Foresight palette, I'm going to take the homegrown shade and small Makeup Shack T66 brush. It kind of like outline what I have. Go ahead and take my Dose of Colors shader brush. I will be taking these two shades right here and a little bit of this mauve shade. I don't know. I'm just mixing it all up and blend it out. I'm going to apply a little tiny bit more blush. I'm going to take, let's see. I'm going to take the Cover FX Monochromatic Shimmer, Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer in the shade Warm Honey. Um, this one, my Morphe E4. I'm going to mix a little bit of the shimmer shade after. Shimma Shimma. Gorgeous. A little bit blending. I'm also going to apply some highlight. Taking my Morphe th M310, this like fan brush. I'm going to take my Hourglass. What is this? The Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palette. It came out during um, two or one holiday ago. Take this shade right here. I don't even know what it's called. Metallic Strobe Powder and Champagne Strobe Light. Getting down to it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and set my brows using my Merit Beauty Volumizing Pomade um, in brown. Now we're going to set the face using my Charlotte Tilbury that smells so good. I went ahead and applied some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery. And we're going to move on to the lips. going to be lining my lips with the Dose of Colors Shayla, Shyla Lip Liner. I don't know. Is this how you make your lips look a little bit like fuller besides overlining them? I'm also going to take a little bit of my MAC Oak Lip Liner. And I'm going to take the... This is their Velvet Mousse in Other Half. This is from their um, Valentine Valentine's Day launch that they did. I love their Velvet Mousse because it's so wearable. Um, I mean, it's this, these colors are very wearable, but it's also very comfortable to wear. I'm going to add a little bit of their liquid lipstick in Nude Mood, though. I feel like this is a little bit pink for my look I have going on. A little bit of this KKW Beauty... 90s runway lip liner. Alright you guys, this is the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.